hey guys welcome to my channel it's amadou here and today we will be diving into the evolutions of airplane technology did you know that the first power plane only lasted for 12 seconds this is not 12 i'm just saying man i bet you never know no i'm joking but the first power plane in history only lasted for 12 seconds but fast forward today we have planes that are flying halfway through the globe's not stops let's see how we went from biplane to dreamliner and what next for aviations if you're new to my channel please don't forget to comment like and subscribe let's dive into the video all right let's go on a quick journey through the history of airplane it all started over 100 years ago with two brothers named Wulbu and Opio right i don't know if i pronounced the name right though they dream of making a machine that can actually fly back then nobody had ever flown a plane and people thought it was impossible it's like are you insane but the right brother did not give up they built a plane out of wood and cloth a small plane and in 1903 they managed to fly just for 12 seconds it might not sound like much but the short fly changed everything it proved that human could actually fly to the sky from there plane kept getting better people started building stronger faster plane that could stay in the air longer during the world war one and world war two plane became an important part of travel and defense leading to a huge improvement in their designs you know airplane went from being simple open air machines to having enclosed cabin engines and strong wings you know by the 1950s and 1960s commercial flight became possible now instead of only a few people flying we have a bunch of people flying from one city to another in just an hour like example summertime people traveling to england people traveling you know you know it used to take it used to take like days week to cross an ocean by boat but with the plane it could be done within an hour so you know how a plane is important today airplane are super advanced with powerful engines slick designs and high-tech navigation that um, the Gulf streams you know one of the fastest plane the Gulf streams were a uh, jet vessel just bought so you know so from the from the early 12 second flight to today global travel the journey of airplanes technology has been nothing short of amazing and it's exciting to think about where we are heading to next by the 1920s airplane was just not used for war anymore it was also being used for transporting people from one place to another so in aviation terms we call that tax so they were transporting people from one place to another and airline by that time airline just started popping which mean airline was just getting like people just started getting to know what airline was they started getting famous and although like flying by air was like a luxury just for the wealthy people so we the poor the poor people now we i was now born during that time but the poor people was never used to fly by air they used to use their camera like everybody knows not the camera the houses they used to go by houses but now the script has flipped the rich people now has horses and then everybody has travel by car and travel by and travel by plane so yeah so back then in the 1920s air travel was luxury for the world so all right imagine this right when airplane was first invented, it was mostly used for short flight and learning how to fly. But then something called World War One happened, where a lot of countries were fighting each other. People realized that airplane could be helpful in the war because they could fly over places, see where the enemy was, and even drop things from the sky. Like in this video footage, there's a plane shooting out shooting 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 you can't hear the sound because i mute the sound but you can actually see the plane is shooting because of this airplane had to get better faster and stronger really quickly so during war people work hard to make new designs and new way to make airplane fly higher faster and farther these made airplane a lot more advanced and after the war this improvement helped us create the kinds of airplane now this now the one that nowadays we use you know airplane we use these days imagine for the very first time in the 1920 people can fly every day for hours across continent you know how that felt back then 
it felt like magic back then it's like just imagine from taking horses or walking and now you can fly from north america to asia or from north america to europe in just on hours yes man these people was amazed it felt like magic to them because they was new to this stuff they was new to all of this it felt like magic back then and then came in the 1970s and the queen of the sky the boeing 747 with a huge capacity and a long range it made international travel affordable as you can see this is not the plane that was used back then this is just a footage of what the Boeing inside the Boeing 747 looks like. It's, it is called the Queen of the Sky. Uh, it is is a footage of the Boeing 747 taking off. I just put it there so you can visualize what the Queen of the Sky looks like. The 747 changed the game for the commercial flight, and Concorde was pushing boundaries. But the ultimately few efficiencies and safety was the top priority for the industry, the industry which is the aviation industry. industry. Today we have planes like the Boeing 747 Dreamliners, which are designed for few efficiencies and comfort. With the lightweight materials and few saving engine, these planes are shaping the futures of aviation. Here's a quick video you should watch. So yeah, you have it. A journey from the right body to a 12 second flight and also to the dream of zero emissions. The future of aviation is only getting exciting. But anyways, I got a recommendation for you. If you really want to be into aviation and you want to learn how to fly planes, but you don't have the money, but you got a few money, you just want to land on the video games, on the simulator, I recommend this book for you. You get this book, and also get this book. You can learn how to fly on the simulator. Maybe one day you want to hijack a plane. No, no, don't, don't do that. Uh, don't do that. I'm joking. That joke was too far. But uh, I'm joking. Do not do that. Or you can learn how to fly a plane from this one on the simulator, though. Not, not the actual plane. On the simulator. So you buy this one. And then hopefully one day you get money. You can learn from the actual plane. This it will only make it easier for you. So you can learn from the actual plane. It's just a recommendation for you. But anyways, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. If, if, you, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and share. And also comment down below, what do you think the future of aviation hold? Do you think the dream of zero emissions is possible? But anyways, it's your boy, I'm here, the aviation kid. Subscribe, thank you.